Hi everyone, this is Kari Zhang from Beanstalk International Bilingual School. Today, before my presentation, I will first have all of you to take a closer look on the logo on my t-shirt. If you have figured out what is it depicting, you'll probably guess out the presentation theme I'll be delivering to you today. So I would like to share my favorite color, blue, as an anecdote. The color blue has always been my favorite color because it symbolizes the delicacy of water and it links the dolphins and whales I love with the aquamarine ocean. When I was just a little girl, traveling to the beautifully decorated aquarium was always my preferred choice. I especially enjoyed watching those sea animals performing in front of me, regarding it as a great way to demonstrate friendship between humans and animals. However, in 2017, shocking news came up as I surfed through the internet. On the exact same day of my 11th birthday, January 6, 2017, a star orca in SeaWorld, Florida, Telecom, passed away at the age of 36, along with three human lives, causing unimaginable pain. Not only Telecom the orca, but also many other whales and dolphins, even animals like sea lions, seals, and walruses, were ripped from their family and community at a young age. Later, they will live in a state of captivity with both physical and mental suffering hidden behind the advertisements of aquariums. The truth is that living in the captivity, not saying performing in such environments, will harm both the physical and mental health of the animals. A lot of sea animals stuck in the captivity are experiencing a lot of pains and suffering in such kind of strange training and living condition. This will, in return, bring them unnatural behaviors, such as, you know what, wall crashing, and even attempts to kill people. What's more, those animals can die easily in such a terrible environment. These harmful factors cause those performed animals to be interrupted severely as they should be a part of the nature. Also, when stuck in the environment and performing, the music played plus the self-echoing happen in this kind of enclosed environment will sharply hurt the whale and dolphin's auditory system and, you know what, mental health. Just mm, please imagine yourself living in a condition where like, construction work is going on and on around you. Don't you feel annoying? Natural habitat is where animals truly belong to. In captivity, the dolphins were stuck in a tank with average width of 14 feet, length of 28 feet, and depth of seven feet. In fact, they need to swim at least a hundred miles per day. It is impossible to achieve in such small enclosure. Animals should not become our tool to entertain and earn profit. Like us, they have their families and communities as well as emotions. If you really like them, they will be truly pleased if you are willing to take a gentle visit to their natural habitat. If you really care about them, captivity with tears hidden in the blueness should not be the place to show such sadness. Not to thank you, but thank you for listening and thank you for your understanding and appreciation.